once famous for their golden wheat fields and forests. The lands now known as the Iskander Wilds were once the property of House Vasco, a minor house loyal to House Iskander. In 8342, the Red Fever struck the region without mercy and wiped out the entire Vastal bloodline. Left without a lord, the lands fell into anarchy and were left deserted. Nowadays, they are as beautiful as they are dangerous. is insane. I heard there had been some ruckus in the keep, but they wouldn't tell us what happened. What about you, though? How come you're with the purity? I thought... A Nortander killed me? Yes, they were going to, but then the purity offered me a chance, and I took it. I accepted my sin, I repented, and I was born again. What sins? Having a drink every once in a while? It's not about that. What is it about, then? You're a good man, Bertrand. No, Tahar. I wasn't. Look, throughout my life, I had always felt as if something was missing. As if deep down inside, there was this dark black hole in my soul. No matter what I tried, I couldn't fill it. <laughs> Sounds dramatic, I know, but it's the truth. Don't you know that feeling, Tahar? That no matter what you do, you're lost, alone? I do. Of course you do. That's why we get along so well. I've never told you about that, but at one point after the war, after all the shit they made us do, I thought about quitting. More than once. <laughs> but for some reason, I couldn't. Maybe it was fear, yes. Maybe it was that I still hadn't given up hope yet. That there is an answer after all, and that I'd find it if I only kept looking. Well... Yes, the purity. They showed me. I don't know how else to say it, but I've never been happier. And once Aenir returns, once all the unbelievers finally see the light too, he will turn this broken world into a better one. I don't know how to say this, Bertrand, but you sound completely deluded. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but... Even though I wish you could see the truth as I saw it, I can understand why you'd feel that way. Hmm. So you're a priest now? A servant of the light, yes. But either way, <laughs> I doubt you're here to hear my sermons, are you? What brings you here? It's a long story. I'm helping some villagers make their way to Everlight, when I need medicine from one of them. Fire nettle. Fire nettle? Well, you're in luck. I even have some with me. I'm guessing that man has stomach cramps, doesn't he? A scourge of the traveler. Here, there's even some other herbs in that package you might find useful. Best you take a good look at it yourself. What, you don't want anything in return? No, the purity has sworn to help the people of Eo. And this is what I am doing. Is there anything else you need right now? I have wounded to tend to. You do realize that I'm a renegade mage now, don't you? That's true, but... You're different, and I believe the Harbinger knows that, too. What's that supposed to mean? You'll find out soon enough. Do you think these refugees are safe here, with the Loyalists and Nortander fighting each other? Safe is a big word, but neither the Iskander nor the Nortander soldiers have a quarrel with them. Right now, the biggest problem is that neither Everline nor the Utran allow any of them to cross their borders. I can only pray to Aenir that they'll eventually see reason. One more question. Why is the purity here? I told you already, to help the people of Nortander. All right, I best get these herbs to the villagers now. How long would you stay here? I'd ask you to join me, but I doubt you'd want to. I would if I could. But don't worry about me, Tahar. This won't be the last time I see you. Well, good. Then stay safe. Aenir's light, Tahar. Tahar? I'll be off. 
Aenir's light to heart. They have these naked people over here. Will do. Traveler, what are you working on there? This? Oh, just, I don't know. Something to keep my mind off our situation, I guess. I guess you're talking about the Utran guards not letting you cross the border? <sighs> you guessed right. Why aren't they letting anyone through? Oh, they are. Just not the women and the old. Whoever is strong enough to join their army may pass. The rest? Well, look around. Hard times, I suppose. Aye. Though I like to think there's another way to deal with those times than tearing families apart and leaving the old and weak to die. It's not as if we came here because the air is so fresh and nice. Ah, probably it's just an old man rambling. Where are you from? And why did you flee? Oak Vale. Sounds fancy, I know, but it was just a small village east from here. I moved there from the Windwall Mountains. As for your second question, can you guess? It was burnt to the ground. But I don't really want to talk about it. Hmm, and I take it you were, uh... Carpenter? Carpenter? <laughs> Guess you could call me that, I. Though most people call me an architect. And actually, I still am. I just don't have any house building to do anymore. I could use an architect. You? This is a joke, right? No. It's a bit complicated. But I've set up camp in an old... Well, city. We might need someone with your expertise. Well, um... Of course. Just give me some food and a roof over my head, and I'll do what you want. For the time being, that is. Sorry, I... This really isn't a joke, is it? No, just let me get something settled first. I'll come back here once I'm ready to take you with me. Um, fine. Yes, of course, I'll be waiting here. Thank you. Uh, what is your name, actually? I'll tell you later. You're telling us we've come all the way for nothing? I'm telling you that your son can enter if he enlists with the military and that you have to wait. Wait. Yes, right. Wait until that sodding bloodburn, the rebels, or the queen lovers have wiped our camp out. Next in line, please. <laughs> Scum! That's what you are! Next in line. Yes? Who are you? Uh -huh. We will prevail, dearers. The North Tando army has forced us to move again. Their banners fluttering the free in the breeze like a silent mocking threat. A few days ago we pushed back to Utrin forces. 
Neutron forces that were encroaching on nearby villages. There were our wolves lusting at the scent of blood. They think our days are numbered, and so they prod the wound, testing our resolve. We will not back down. We set up a new camp not far from Parlon's Hope, and here we will make our stand. I can already hear your disapproval. When we pledge ourselves to House of Candor, we vowed to defend Lord and land. What kind of husband and father would I be if I shirked that oath now? House Iskander may be gone, but we still have much to fight for. This land is our home, and no one will take it from us, not the crown nor the other houses. My promise to defend our family did not die with Eli Iskander. And if there is a surviving Iskander somewhere in this chaos, we must be ready to serve. I know you are strong, my love. Be careful. I have seen horrors these invaders inflict. We are less than human to them shown no greater courtesy than that of a dog in the streets. Do you remember the close combat techniques I showed you? Keep your dagger on you. If soldiers arrive, grab our, only our son and run. You will only have minutes. I do not mean for these words to frighten you, but you must be prepared. Flee if you must. I will find you. Even if I must search every refugee camp, every street in Everlight. I miss you, my love, more than you know. We will be together again soon. Yo, Reg. Hold it right there. No one is crossing this border without a written order. That is, unless you want to sign up for the Utran military. Why have you closed the border? These people need shelter. And I need you people to stop telling me what an evil person I am. I'm following orders just as any soldier would. If you have a problem with Ultran law, then best talk to the lady of the house herself. Well, in that case, I'll be off. <sighs> Is that a shield? Baby, baby, Sorry, I am from from right from being God and shepherd divine. What's your business? You don't look like refugees to me. We're travelers. Are you the glorious Iskander loyalist or the rebel scum? Depending on who you ask, yes. I take it you're not with the royal army. Stupid question, isn't it? If you were, you sure as heck wouldn't tell me. We're not your enemy. 
May we enter your camp? We're looking for help. Mm. Well, fair enough. Go on in. Though I'll doubt you'll find any help here. We have enough troubles on our own. Also, don't do anything stupid. If I see you do as much as put your hand on that sword hilt of yours, we'll make short work of you. Understood. No. You don't even know who I don't, and I don't intend to. If I started acquainting myself and helping every damn refugee in these parts, I'd be busy for the next century. I'm a traveler, not a refugee. And I just have some questions. But make it quick. We've run out of food on the road. Is there anything you could sell? No, there isn't. <laughs> This may sound a little odd, but why are you still fighting? House Iskander has fallen. The Mage War is over. The Mage War may be, yes. But this is still Iskander land. I grew up here, and so did my father, my grandfather, and hundreds of generations before that. There is no way we'll let this queen-loving scum take our homeland from us. Fair enough. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Safe travels. Understood. really nothing here. Yeah. Oh, that's what this wearing, okay.
sure. That's the way. Good move. Got this way, boy. Where does this take us? Let's go back. Finally. Fuck the dig. Mm-hmm. 